Aries, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Known. My name is Melissa, and I have been doing this tarot reading thing for a long time. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can check the description box below. I read for everybody in my wellness center, um, or you can order a video through Wissio, um, or you can request a phone reading. I can't guarantee I'll get back in 24 hours, um, but I'll try. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I just got like... Funny, I wonder if we have to do some throat chakra work, Aries, uh, all of us. So as you can see, I'm an Aries sun, uh, Venus and Mars, myself. I'm moving a little slowly. It's been a weird week, so please don't mind me. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. All the links are in the description box below, along with a link for the extended to this reading. Now, and I do have to say, there are... The places in the description box are the only places to book a reading with me. Um, if I leave the comments open, and that's a big if I leave the comments open on this video, um, I will never approach you for a reading in the comments, okay? Some of my clients may bump in and be like, get a personal, because they do that sometimes, uh, but they'll direct you to the center, or they'll direct you to my email. Um, there are a lot of scammers out there right now, so please be careful. Please be really discerning. Only go through proper channels when booking. I will never book with you on WhatsApp. I will not book through Instagram and I will not book through Facebook or any of those other things. Uh, even through email, I am now wary of doing. So please just go to the center when you want to book with me. All right. So this is going to be just for Aries. I'm not pulling for two energies. I'm just going to pull for Aries and see what's coming through um and see what happens okay could be spiritual messages could be romantical messages could be career who knows so let's see what's going on with my aries for right now Ooh, the snake all right shed old skin so it's important that we let go of the past um or that we don't keep doing things the same way over and over again especially if we're expecting different results or want different results or are trying to manifest different results. Whew, moving in a whole new direction. Um, and the heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. All right. So I wasn't going to go with a love reading, but this may turn into that. Um, but isn't every reading a love reading? Um, even if this does end up being a career reading, it's clear that you got to go towards what you love. Okay, Aries, whatever that means for you. Um, and let go of the past. There's something in the past that maybe we're holding on to or something like that that isn't, isn't helpful anymore. You know, maybe an old way of thinking even, you know. Um, like, yeah, I get that. I, I, I resonate with that because, like, some stupid crap happened to me this week. And I went down a weird road, like, about it. And and I do that sometimes. And it's funny because it's like, oh, God. Like, it just, you know, certain things, even when they, even little things, they make you worry about this planet. They make me worry about the planet, you know? And so just don't get too wrapped up, though. Be open to healing information, all right? So, ooh, you may, you may want to go to the next level in Reiki if you're already a Reiki person. Or you may want to do some extra Reiki on yourself. If this is my Reiki healer for some reason, I get every time. Um, I definitely suggest that you get attuned in Reiki if you are. Even a tarot reader, for me, the most important part of getting attuned in Reiki was um, the healing of self that I could do after I do all these readings all day. You know, certain weeks are just so wild and... Um, having that healing ability for myself is so huge. And I think that I may be talking to other Aries, uh, tarot readers, healers, things like that. Um, oof. What, what are we scared of? What's going on? So there's something, you know, about dropping your shields, but staying protected. There's, you know, there's a delicate balance, right? Like you don't want to overprotect yourself and stop any great opportunities from coming in, too, you know? Ooh, some blockages at the bottom of the deck. All right, so this is an up-and-down reading, Aries, there's no doubt. 
a lot of heart centered energy. So you may have um, some Leo in your chart, may also have some Earth in your chart with um, with that traveler. A lot of green, green and red. And so um, luckily we are approaching Aries season real soon. And I am looking forward to that. And I think you are too. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's that. See, that's what I was going to say. All of my Aries are so ready for Aries season. It's like right there. It's right there. It's 10 days away. Oh, my God. Dying. Um, you know, it, it, maybe a lot of my Aries aren't having the best week ever. I'm having a, I'm having a very nine of wands week. I mean, but we're still standing. Right? We're still doing our thing. We're still working. We're still getting up in the morning. We're not letting it get us down. But yeah, you know, Aries has had some shit thrown at them lately. And it hurts. And you know, you might have a bandage on your head because of it. That's rough. But um, you're still standing. Did it kill you? No. Did it kill? No. Ugh. I hate to see you missing out. I don't want you to miss any opportunities. And I think that some of my Aries may be feeling a little bit of fear of missing out or fear of missed opportunities or, or something like that. Try and let that go because missed opportunities aren't even a real thing because if it passed you by, it wasn't for you. Okay, so watch any FOMO. No FOMO around here. Ugh, this is such Aries in Pisces season energy though it really is like we i don't know about you guys i think i'm gonna have to leave the comments open because i'm gonna need some personal support from you guys but uh yeah air uh, pisces season can be really rough on us aries suns especially um going through big changes holy smokes so the first major on the board is death ouch <laughs> big changes but you know what's good is, Aries, I think we're learning how to deal with shit in a more mature way. I know I am, and I and I hope that for all of you guys, too. Like, you know, I've had my identity stolen before, but then when it got stolen again this week, um, and not even with the fake account, and someone was literally taking Uber rides with my debit card, um, and I'm, I don't use Uber, um, and so... Uh, that was concerning, and um, but I didn't freak out. I didn't freak out the way I normally used to because it's scary when someone takes your freaking bank account information or your debit card. Like that's fucking awful, you guys. You know, and but knowing that you'll be okay, knowing that you're protected, you know, and knowing that you know if you go through the proper channels. Yes, there's some major pains in the asses involved, like, you know, it happening right before every single all it pay <laughs> that I have set up. But, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that, like, life does that sometimes, and it's all in how you deal with it, not in what happens to you, all right? And I get that my Aries are learning to deal with things in a whole new way. Yeah, and ending some real karmic cycles, not freaking out about everything. Um, some of my Aries may be going through some breakups here from what I can see. And I'm really sorry if that's something that you're going through. Um, you may want to travel really bad. Uh, and I, I feel that too, Aries, big time. Like a lot of my Aries need a vacation. Um, and I second that emotion as well. So, ah, spirit seconds that emotion too. I'll second that emotion. Uh, yeah, that's insane. Um, yeah, that was so funny. Spirit got jokes. That's the damn truth, right? That like Aries needs a vacation badly. Um, and so if things have slowed down for you, Aries, just know that that's spirit's way of um making you take a break okay and even if we can't get to you know the beach uh or fly anywhere or do the normal vacation things that we used to do uh try to take a break a bit 
Oh, watch the impulsive energy, my lovers. Because I do think that, you know, ooh, I've been judging my Cancers and my Virgos lately, but I'm getting really strongly that some of my Aries are also getting really stuck up in their melons. Ooh, with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, you may be ruminating on some past pain, some past hurt. Um, oh, Pisces season. Write a poem with it. Don't do anything impulsive with that. Okay, or don't impulsively book a vacation yet. Get, wait for the pandemic to, to calm down, you know, or just don't make any snap decisions when you're in a bad place or you're feeling like shit, okay? Aries is not the time. All right, please watch that. I've done that a million times in my life. And it's what we do. It's what we do. Yeah, wait till June. <laughs> wait till June or in a few months. All right. Um, also, you're heading towards victory. And this little lull or whatever it is that you're going through doesn't mean you're gonna miss you're missing out on a damn freaking thing. Cause look at this. He's showing his ass. But he's also, you know, that's a victory card. So, and recognition card. So, it's just, this is the Sola Busca deck, so it's a crazy deck. Um, work on your emotional, your emotional self, all right? And know that, like, especially if you're in a place where it's going from winter to spring right now, or soon will be, just know that, you know, winter can really get you down in an emotional sense because we're not getting out in the sun, especially if you have any kind of Leo like me. Uh, in your chart, you know, getting out into the sun is very important. Um, well, it's important that you express yourself, work on expressing your emotional self in a more constructive way. Whoa, tower, damn it. You may have broken up with a water sign. Scorpio in particular and this and they may be coming back strong masculine energy um some I don't know there's something about this king of cups wanting to work with you after a um uh, breakup I don't know could be Scorpio anywhere in their chart whoa yeah <laughs> but they're in direct competition with the king of wands or this king of wands and this king of swords okay so for some of you this is the same person so it could be like a leo with scorpio in their chart or a sag with cancer in their chart or something whatever you know um i'm getting sag and scorpio though more than any other signs with those two that King of Wands could be you, too. Some people read the King of Wands as Aries. Um, but for a lot of you, there's two kings battling over you. And one of them you were with before, and one of them may be a new person. So there's definitely competition for your affections, Aries. I do think this is coming in uh, closer to the end of March, closer to your season. I think Pisces season is going to be a womp, womp, womp for most of us, but that's how it usually is, all right? But I do think that um, Aries season is going to be popping. Um, and if that has, if, if you don't have two people fighting over you, which is freaking incredibly flattering, um, <laughs> and not for everybody, this could be you actually battling your heart and and your ego a little bit. So watch that. Like make sure that you you do, you know, keep that emotional stability, that you take some action over any kind of conflict you're having. Um but yeah, there definitely could be two kings fighting over you after a breakup. Woo. Seven of Swords. What? What is this about? Balance. Okay. 
Huh. You know what I just heard? Is you're lying to yourself if you think this is a fair fight. Damn. I mean, out of these two, who do you think's gonna win? Who looks like the stronger king? The king of cups or the king of wands? I mean, my money's on the king of wands. Uh, he looks like he could kick some ass. And he's far more confident than this king of cups here. Um, or there may be... Just watch... You may be narrowly escaping a court case, Aries. That's for very few of you, but definitely could be some of you. Damn. What am I Aries up to? Oh, jeez. You know, you guys are always like, Aries are always like my toughest hotline clients. And I get a decent amount of Aries because I'm Aries. And I'm like, you guys, you guys are too tough. So don't watch watch what you're telling yourself like if you're trying to tell yourself that you have like work life balance you probably don't um if you you know or if you are trying to tell yourself that you like both of these people the same i don't think that's true either so just watch it watch you seven of swords in yourself and it's so funny because oh that damn seven of swords it's my least favorite card it's the most concerning card Wow. Whoa. Your justice is coming in, Aries. So hang back. I mean, I'm getting that this isn't even necessarily a bad seven of swords. It's just be resourceful. Don't. Don't tell everybody everything. All right. Be careful who you tell what, because you've got your ten of pentacles coming in. And I think you're just really bored right now. And so I want you to really watch that, okay? Um, but wow, you got your Ten of Pentacles coming in. Possible marriage, too. Uh, it's funny that some of, my, some of my Aries got two people fighting over them, which is kind of funny. Hoo, 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 death again. Same exact death card. Hangman and the Emperor. <laughs> death to Pisces season. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love Pisces season. I'm lying. I don't love Pisces season. Um, <laughs> sorry. All right, but I, I'm in an Aries video. I'm allowed to talk shit. All right. So anyway, I love you guys so much. And I think that there's an ending to not knowing which way to go. There's going to be an ending to... Like, not, not knowing or this fear of missing out or feeling like you're, you're in the dark. That's, that's coming to an end during Aries season. And you're going to be feeling yourself during Aries season. And I cannot wait. I really can't. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll get to another Aries reading before the end of Pisces season. I hope so. Um, but yeah, it's really important that you see yourself from a different point of view here, Aries. Get into that authoritative masculine energy. So if these two kings aren't fighting over you, um, it's more about you embracing that masculine energy, whether you're you're feminine or 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 masculine. Uh, for my Aries, for my Aries um, business owners, this is a beautiful, beautiful omen. Um, and you're going to have a lot, a lot of balance and a lot of justice come Aries season. And maybe towards the end of Pisces season as well. So things are looking good right around the corner, guys. I, I mean, real fucking good. And even if it means that you're going through some big transformations, some changes, some weird stuff right now, it definitely doesn't. You know, just don't quit. Don't let it slow you down. You know, um, you're an incredible group of people, the Aries that watch my channel. And I am so blessed to have you here. And so um, I'm going to go further more into advice on how to get to this Ten of Pentacles over in the extended on Ribbon. So I hope you join me there. But if you don't, 
like I've been saying, Aries season looks delicious for us and I can't wait. And um, so don't let don't let the next couple next week and a half or so get you down because uh, your ten of pentacles is coming in. Everything you want, your justice is coming. You know, just stay on top of your toes. Okay? Ten toes down, Aries. All right. I love you. Take care, guys.